guys. Ooh, hair. <laughs> um, clearly, I just finished getting ready. I'm heading to dinner. I made some plans with a friend that I used to go to college with, um, my girl Rochelle. Let me get in here so y'all can see my makeup. This is the look that I did on New Year's and I didn't film. Obviously, you know, right now it's already up. So this one curl, it's whatever. I gotta leave right now anyways. Girl Michelle told me about this place called Dimmy's. It's this Italian restaurant. She's been wanting to go um, because she missed my birthday, which was in August. So she kept telling me. Uh, she was going to take me out, or we're just going to go for dinner. I just want to make sure I have everything. I'm going to bring socks because it's hella cold. My place is so messy right now, and I can't even clean up. I'm going to clean up when I come back, but I just want to quickly show you guys my outfit. This is... Don't mind the ladder because, uh, <laughs> obviously I'm really short and I can't reach, um, the top part of my closet, but this is what I'm wearing. This is what I was wearing on New Year's and didn't end up going anywhere in... So this dress, it's supposed to be off the shoulder. Uh, this dress that I'm so in love with is from Mendoncino. Mendoncino. It's a Canadian boutique. Or, yeah, it's a Canadian boutique. And then I'm just bringing this black leather clutch. I love my makeup. It came out even better. Ooh, ooh. It came out even better this time. Hopefully you guys can see my eyeshadow. Yes. Okay, let's go. I'm about to take off these shoes. I was just trying to show you guys <laughs> what I was wearing. I'm going to put on some socks and I'm wearing boots. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So the restaurant that she wanted to, we wanted to go to, their menu looks so good. It's Italian. But for some reason, they're closed. They were supposed to close at 11. And for some reason, they're closed. And it's only 9. And we're supposed to meet for 9.30, 9.45. So she found another restaurant called Sibo Wine Bar. That's where we're going. I've actually heard a lot about SIBO. I'm pretty sure they're a little bit on the pricier side, but at this point, I don't even care because I'm so hungry and I want pasta. So. Alright, hey guys, so we are at SIBO Wine Bar in Yorkville. Would you like this too? Oh. She's got up and left, but we're in Yorkville. Um, it's like this cute little, not town, it's literally like this little cute little ville in Toronto and um, has like a bunch of stores, like a lot of stores and restaurants and um, I came here for my birthday last year actually, not this restaurant but in New York. And the restaurant I went to for my birthday is actually like right across the street so yeah. I guess we're just gonna wait for Rochelle to come back so um, I just got some wine. She got here before me because I couldn't find any parking. It's a one-way street, so uh, if you know, you know. I made like three U-turns. I had to go around like three times, but anyways. Finally got my glass of wine. Um, I got some Fermentino. She has the same thing. So what did you discover or find out? I've actually never had this kind of wine, but it's really good. It's sweet and light. Like, I like it. I'm just gonna um, promote my new video <laughs> while she's in the bathroom. Rice balls stuffed with ragu and melted mozzarella. Yeah, we're just trying to try it. Oh, you're deciding stuff? Yeah. Um, it's hard. It is because there's so much, and I don't even know. There's just so many pastas in general. So you're just like, I'm gonna get the penne with the penne. What? Oh, the, oh, because there's no meat, right? Yeah, I don't want the the panzetta. Is yeah. that the one? No, it's the Italian bacon. Yeah. Where's the girl that's supposed to be taking our order? She's so a little bit long. 
long sometimes, I'll okay. say. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the penne rose vodka. And then instead of the panzetta, can I get grilled chicken? Yep. Want me to leave the cocktails here? Um, yes, please. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm gonna try a. The ball. Did you dip it in? Oh, you didn't dip it in the bar? I did. Okay, I'm so bad at eating with like nice and hard, so I'm not even okay. Don't worry. And it's not as cheesy as I thought. Yeah. Like at all. It's like the healthy cheese. Yeah. Not that I'm trying to get that. Yeah. <laughs> Marinara. Thank you. So I ended up ordering the penne pasta with the rose vodka sauce and added grilled chicken. And my dear over here has the lobster ravioli. So, uh, yeah, cheers. Some dessert. I have no idea what it's called, but oh, thank you. Do you remember what this is called, Michelle? No, it's okay. Something bomb. Chocolate yeah, bomb yeah. Chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Chocolate caramel fruits. Is it pralines or pr isn't it pralines? Pralines. <laughs> I'm Jamaican. I blame it on that. No facts, 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 facts. And that's uh, what do you call? It? Oh, it's like shaved white chocolate, yes. right? Mm. Is this like one of those things where you break it? I've never had those before. I always see them. But it has like a soft stuffing inside, actually. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Ready? Wait, I gotta get both angles. Is it on boomerang? Normal. Okay. Alright, go. <laughs> What was that? I don't know. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Is it not supposed to break or am I just weak as fuck? I think it's really just a stuffing inside. <laughs> no. <Nice>. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, that's interesting. At least you tried. Oh. Yeah, like literally dig in there. Oh, uh, you found it. Woo -hoo. <laughs> on when I'm about to get out my car. Okay, I'm having some Don King issues right now. But, um, as you guys can see, I'm doing a face mask. My best friend got me um, this face mask. It's the Mask of Magnanimity from Lush, which I used to be obsessed with. And I, like, you know when you, like, use something and it's, like, a favorite, and then once you run out, like, you never go back to get more, so obviously you end up forgetting about it. So, I was talking about it, like, a week before Christmas and then she went and got it for me. Thank God, yeah, this mask is bomb. Anyways, I'm making some coffee in my mug that she also got me for Christmas. This is so cute. It says, good morning, bitches. <laughs> I can't even laugh. <laughs> but I'm um, just using my International Delight French Vanilla 
um, sweetener. It's not even good for you. I've said this in my other vlog. It's not, but it's addicting because it tastes, it makes your coffee taste so much better. I'm only doing like a half a cup of coffee today. Usually I like fill it up, which is just like OD. So today we're going a little, a little bit lighter. I really, like realistically, I don't even need that much coffee. So yeah, I have um, so much to do today. And I'm going to actually go back to the wax place because the girl that waxed me, I got a full Brazilian and she only waxed one side of my butt crack. So, sorry, it might be TMI, but I don't really care. <laughs> so, I got to go back before, like, no, because it's not my fault. And I just got waxed. There's no reason for me to be feeling hair in places I shouldn't be. And, yeah, oh, I'm reading the comments on my newest video and you guys are so sweet. Your personality is just warm and you're beautiful. Thank you. The, I don't know how to say this, Thembi Bonky 2006, if you're watching this. All right, a lot of you guys are telling me to try the Stella Rosa Black wine. I'm gonna try it. I've been seeing, if you guys know Ashley, Ashley Devana, she's been talking about it. And she put a lot of people on, so I think I might just have to try it out because I don't like red wine. Every red wine that I have tried just doesn't, mm, no, not for me. I just stick to my whites and my rosé, but, whoop. Ooh, it's still hot. Okay. A little bit more. And then there's the hotel and the restaurant. Okay. I've only I've been to the rooftop. It's so nice. It's freezing. So pretty. These lights though. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought it was this way. <laughs> Could go that way, but so this is the other side of the Thompson Hotel. This is the Thompson Diner. And I think they're open. Thank you. I think they're open 24 hours. Uh, which is crazy. Fuck. I've got chicken tenders and of course I got mac and cheese. Because I've been craving this for so long. I'm so hungry. Dinner and I just remembered I didn't do a grocery haul. Sorry, my makeup is so greasy. Right now, I'm about to take it off and watch some Netflix, edit a video, but I just remembered that I didn't do my grocery haul yet and show you guys what I got. First thing I picked up is this Lipton tea. I was actually watching an Instagram story yesterday. This girl named Madison Krista, she's a makeup artist. She was talking about this, how it's so good, so I had to pick it up. I'm a big tea drinker, so of course, I'm always into trying new tasty teas. I got some more pasta. I got rigatoni this time. I usually get penne, but I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. I got some sweet potatoes because I love them. I got some asparagus. I've actually never cooked with asparagus before, surprisingly, um, since like I've moved out. Like it's always just been in my mom's house, you know those ones. So yeah, when you move out, you gotta buy things. <laughs> so I got some bok choy with some strawberries, of course, because we gotta have some fruits. If you guys know these, you know these are so good. These remind me of high school and middle school days. My mom used to always buy these. These taste so good. Had to get some orange pico. Do you guys say it's pico? I don't know why. <laughs> I used to always say orange pico, which is so weird. But yeah, I got some orange pico because I actually really, really like this tea. I got some light soy sauce for when I do some stir fry. I also got some tortilla chips because I'm going to be making some guac soon. I got avocados like a while ago and just I just finished my tostito. So I also got some grapefruits because I love eating these with my breakfast. Instead of like getting single ones, this bag was a lot cheaper. I got some lemons, of course, because I put lemon in my food and I clean with lemon. And then I got some chicken breast, of course. I got some cereal. I already had some because I was so hungry while I was cooking. I couldn't wait, so I just had some Cheerios. These I actually got last night, you guys. Whoo! These taste so good. And I know it says new on the box, but 
A lot of people are telling me that I'm mad late. I have never seen these before. Um, I would say this one too. They both taste really, really good. This one, as soon as I started sucking on the blue part, it's really sour. But as you get into it, it's actually really good. It's a lot more sweet and sour than this one. This one just literally tastes like fuzzy peach. This one tastes so freaking good. So, um, yeah. I think that's everything actually I got for groceries. Oh, lastly... I also picked up some whipped cream for my hot chocolate. For juice, I got some orange juice. I always gotta have orange juice in my fridge because I'm obsessed. Then I got this Minute Maid peach juice, which is very, very sweet. Like, it's, like, hella sugary. But it tastes really, really good. Um, then I got some lemonade because I love lemonade. Oh, what the hell is this? This is, like, sticky. What is this? And then I also had to pick up some cheese, of course. <laughs> Um, what else did I pick up? Oh, and then lastly, I picked up some half and half cream for my tea because I like drinking orange pico with cream and sugar or honey, typically sugar, even though I use honey and other herbal teas, but I can't drink orange pico um, black. I made some quick dinner. We have some shrimp and scallops and some bok choy that I steamed in some garlic and butter and white rice. I got my... Rosé, <laughs> of course. So, this is my first time actually making bok choy. Growing up, I actually was, like, scared to eat it because every time I tried it, like, it was just plain. Like, there was no seasoning. But my cousin actually made this a few months ago, so it tasted so good and I fell in love with it. So, I decided I want bok choy today. Plus, because I need to eat more greens. Oh, my God, it's so good. It's so good. I'm watching Green Leaf. I started watching this. Apparently it's really, really good. I just started like last week, so I'm on episode five. Oh wow, I cannot remember the last time I put my hair in a bun. It feels so good to just let my scalp breathe. I had to take off that wig today. Ew, it's not dirt, by the way. I had some like curly hair products in my hair. So obviously, you know, when you, when it dries in your hair and then you like brush it out or something, it flakes. So that's just what was on my sweater. My hair grew so much, like, you guys, it's, okay, it's not that long, it's like, my hair hasn't been that long since I went natural in high school. The last time I saw my hair that long was like grade 10, because I think that's when I went natural. But anyways, I forgot to tell you guys that yesterday, when I stopped at the, can we, my head is so big. I'm just like hiding under all these weaves, you kind of forget how big your head actually is but um i'm like why is it so why is it so dark hello yes this is me and my big head coming live to you guys I <laughs> not funny but my camera almost fell over and my cup would have fell off the counter and broke that would have just been a mess i don't like these this gorilla pod like it's actually like annoying hold on like, I've never seen something so difficult in my life. Why can't you just stand? What the hell? All right. Okay. Anyways, you guys, so back to my hair. I went to the beauty supply store yesterday, as I told you guys, and I actually picked up some hair vitamins. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of Sugar Bear Hair, hair vitamins with biotin, folic acid, and vitamin C. So I got this because, you know, my edges, like, they don't, they're never ending, and usually i would have more like right here i'm supposed to have a little some some right here um i'm not gonna lie i've been wearing frontals and because i get lazy of like reinstalling or just keep it on so i can film as much videos as i can without i just i honestly you guys i really hate doing my hair so because of that i kind of like hold on to wearing frontals for as long as i can until i need to take it off or until it starts to come off and i can't be doing that because you know What's gonna happen next is I'm gonna be 23 or 22 with no edges and that's just, I don't wanna start that early. And especially being at this age, it's so hard to get like edges. It's rare that you see people lose their edges and get it back really fast, like it takes work. So I kinda just wanna avoid having to, you know, have to do all this stuff and I have no edges, I can't wear my hair up. Um, I've been depending on frontals because it's just so convenient and no heat damage but it's like i have to choose between no edges or heat damage and at this point i need to i need to empty my thingy <laughs> 
so annoying getting cut off all the time. But um, yeah, I need to hurry up and decide before frontals make the decision for me and then I can't wear my own hair. The struggle is real, you guys. And I know like some people might be like, sis, why don't you wear your natural hair out? Because I don't have the patience. I don't have the time. I need to though, and I know I need to. It's just, I get so comfortable <laughs> with wearing weaves. And like with natural hair, it's like, some days it cooperates, some days it doesn't. So it's like, I'm not gonna wake up every day and my hair, it's just a lot of work. Like natural hair, although like I don't ever plan on putting relaxer in my hair again. Like I'm gonna remain natural in terms of chem putting chemicals in my actual hair. Um, I would never perm my hair again. But in terms of like the natural where you say you, you're all natural and you don't wear weaves, I can't speak about that yet because obviously I'm not gonna say that obviously because I wear wigs and stuff that's the kind of natural I am so but anyways I should have started taking these yesterday um or at least earlier today I forgot I've had them because they were sitting in the bag you're supposed to take two a day so yeah take two per day all right mm. they smell really good <laughs> I'm excited Sorry, I don't want you guys to hear me chew. That's so gross. Mmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna take my second one. Mmm. Okay. I wish there were a little bit more chewy, like actual gummy bears, but it's cool. It's a vitamin, so. So, um, yeah, I decided to buy these in the beauty supply store before actually purchasing them. I'm the type of person to check what the price is online so I know if I'm saving or not. And um, the currency online was obviously in U.S. As you guys, some of you guys know, I live in Toronto, so. The currency was in U.S. $37.99 which was about $50 Canadian. These were $43.99, so I just bought them in the store. Plus, it's 18-day shipping for $8 shipping, which equal to $37.99. I'm not waiting 18 days to get vitamins. Like, that's ridiculous. So that's why I was like, I'm gonna just buy it. Oh, they're vegetarian. Wearing frontals is not the problem. It's how you wear them and how you take care of your hair in between. Um, regardless, sew-ins, closures, frontals, whatever it is. It's how you take care of your hair in between installations, so. Good morning, you guys. Coming to you alive and crusty, fresh um, out the gym. I just uh, got a workout in. I want to show you guys my breakfast before I devour it. We got cheesy eggs, strawberries, bacon, and blueberry waffles. It's my first workout in a month and a half. Either way, I'm trying to stay, get back consistent again because um, it's starting to catch up to me again. So, you know, plus I have a gym downstairs, you guys. I have no excuse. I need to stop being lazy. My excitement so. is so real right now. If you know how good these taste, you know. Like half an hour later of peeling it, but. You wanna try it? No? You're missing out. <laughs> You're missing out. Wait, actually, I hope it's not, um. What's it called? I hope it's sweet. Mm -mm. I just wish there weren't seeds in it. Do you guys eat the seeds or do you spit them out? I spit them out, but apparently you're supposed to eat them. But it just doesn't, I don't know. It's so good though. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. Um, I can't do this myself. I'm heading to church right now. I haven't been to church in a while. I'm in a really, really good mood. Um, I'm actually really excited to go to church because I have not been in a really long time. Don't mind my room. I got to clean up when I come back. I stayed up really late last night to finish making that wig, which I did, thank God. Um, and I should actually be at church already um, because I'm kind of. It started like a little while ago, but uh, she said it's okay because she's running late too. So plus, I really wanted to go, and yeah, 
course be there for her christening so i'm about to head out i didn't even eat anything you guys i just had some coffee which i'm not even gonna be, not even gonna be able to finish but um let me take one of my vitamins i need like an actual winter coat you guys like a parka and i know they're so expensive but i need to invest in one because these little digga digga coats that i have are not cutting it like it's getting really cold <sighs> it's getting really cold and it's only gonna get colder Ooh. yeah i didn't get to okay i didn't get to blend up my foundation properly actually i kind of went back and did but it's still not proper but at this point like i just i just want to get there so i'm just let me i was thinking yeah i can't i can't find a jacket that goes that well with my outfit hold on <laughs> but um i need to invest into an actual like winter coat and they're so expensive though they're literally like 900 dollars, which is like crazy but at this point the jacket that i do want is uh, like 950 not including tax <laughs> or like 850 not including tax but it keeps you warm like it's made to um withhold up to you guys know the word i mean it's probably not withhold but um up to negative 20 or 29 degree weather which is basically winter here like last winter it was like the most it, the coldest it was was negative 32 so or not 32 like 35 actually i know it was in the 30s so it's just crazy so yeah i just need a freaking coat okay, i gotta put this up back home um today's service is actually really really good you guys i have not been to church in i can't tell you i actually can't tell you that's actually not good but um i haven't been to church in a few years i feel like maybe two years like easter or something definitely not proud of it kind of like got to the habit of not going anymore with my mom so obviously you know what happens but i do want to start going back to church i feel really really good i'm in a good mood i don't know i just i just feel good um so my girl is waiting for me as i told you guys it was my friends as i told you guys it was my friends baby's christening so all of us were there so one of them followed me here she's waiting at the front in the lobby we're gonna go downtown so she's waiting for me i'm just gonna put myself down and change and then meet her at the front so ooh, i gotta empty my camera right now too when i go upstairs i hope my kettle isn't too loud i'm making some tea but um i took a break from editing to make some quick food my favorite thing to make is pasta because it literally takes like 20 minutes i'm about to turn off the not turn off the stove for this but um today i'm gonna be making some chicken breast as you can see with some rigatoni pasta i put a little bit too much oil in the pot this time kind of got a little excited yeah i usually make penny but i wanted to switch it up a little bit you know so this is what i'm making and you guys i am in love with vodka sauce for pasta oh, man so good so obviously i read up and i got some more in the cupboard the last time i made pasta i mixed it with vodka sauce and I had a little bit of, I think it was fire roasted tomato left in the fridge. So I just used, it was like half a bottle left. So I used that, like half of that, and then half of this bottle. So now I'm going to use the other half of this bottle. And we're going to add some rosé sauce. Because when I went to dinner with Rochelle, if you guys remember, it was rosé vodka. Really, really good. So I'm going to mix those together. I put it in the pot, and then I add the pasta to the pot. So that's how I make my pasta. I grated some Asiago cheese into my pasta i always do this let me show you guys the cheese i use this is she <laughs> um it's really really good i'm you can tell i really love cheese like i love cheese so yeah i'm gonna let that melt i turned on the stove i'm about to turn it back on so i'm gonna mix it up let it melt into the sauce the chicken's in there as well as i told you guys i pour it into the pan with the chicken 
So I'm just going to mix all that up. I like to lightly cook my pasta sauce because it just, it just tastes better. I like to really cook it in and then obviously melt the cheese as well. So that's why I do that. This is what I mean. Mm. Oh my god. I hate that this is touch thingy. Like sometimes you guys like it just touches things or I touch things I'm not supposed to. Or like if you put anything metal around here, like the whole thing like turns off or like I don't even know if it like, turns off or just pauses or what, but when I put like metal stuff by here, it just like messes everything up. All right, here is the finished product. We've got our chicken, penne, rose, vodka. I don't know. Oh, not penne, rigatoni. Anyways, you guys get the point. Chicken, rigatoni, pasta, <laughs> and rose. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna share this with you guys because, yes, my hair's in a bun. Um, I'm gonna share this with you guys because I don't know why I'm so excited right now. Um, you know you're getting old when you're excited about things you buy for your place. I have had this spice rack sitting in <laughs> this drawer since I moved here. My dad gave it to me because I guess he had it at his old house. I, I don't know. He bought it never used it, so he gave it to me. And honestly, <laughs> me being picky, I never opened it because I'm like, mm, I don't know about the wooden. Because obviously, you know, everything in my kitchen is stainless steel. Even my kettle and everything so <laughs> anyways today I like I'm like cleaning organizing just wash dishes and like rearranging I don't know I'm just trying to clean and rearrange stuff and so I decided to take it out right take it out um, obviously me being um, what's the word I don't know but me not reading reading is essential I didn't know that it came with everything that you see on this box is inside this box so we have measuring cups, can openers, more measuring cups. These are so freaking cute. And I like that they're stainless steel. And all these damn spatulas and spoons, even uh, a whisk. That's what you call it, right? A whisk. Let's show them this little light here. Yeah, even a whisk. Like, what? All right, open the box. I'm about to throw it out. And I'm like, wait, why is there so much stuff in here? So I take out these little boxes, you guys. They sound like glass jars. So that means that it comes, I'm honestly, I'm I'm dumb, okay? I'm slow. You know what? It's okay, I'm a little slow. <laughs> but this shit comes with, gla oh my God, there's seasoning in it. I was already shocked that it comes with the glass jars. So I'm like, all right, glass jars so I can buy seasoning and put it in there. But no, it comes with, wow. Hold on, you guys. I don't want to break it. This shit comes with seasoning. This is honestly... <laughs> this just made my whole day. Wow, bitch. All right, so we got some basil, oregano, and thyme. And then we got some oregano, basil, marjoram, grand garlic. What kind of... Yo, it's lit. No, you... <laughs> it's fucking lit. No, like... What? You guys, am I like, I'm sorry. Obviously, as a lot of you guys know, this is my first time being on my own. Obviously, I've never had to buy a spice rack, so I didn't know that this comes with seasoning. I'm gonna open up the other one because there's sounds like there's a lot in here. That was a small box, so I'm gonna open these up and let you guys know what's inside because wow, this is honestly like crazy this is crazy all right so the next one is who is this bay leaves all right can you guys see sorry my lighting sucks right now i don't use this i don't know what you use these for but you know what it's not um there's so much in here I don't want to break it, but I don't have patience to take all these. Oh, we got some basil. I, yo, what's crazy is I bought basil, and I had basil this whole time since I moved here. But yeah, we got some basil. We got some fennel. Bitch, I got fennel. <laughs> I got fennel, okay. Okay, I don't know what this is, but caraway seed. This is some. Oh, I've seen these before. I don't know that's what they were called. I've never heard that before, but y'all know these little seeds that are just in your house because of your parents? Yeah. That's definitely at my mom. And there's another one here, which is 
Stop it. I have crushed mint. Yeah, I got crushed mint. Mint leaves. This is so cute. This is honestly just crazy. All right, so the next one, these are all the ones I took out of this box. So we got some savory dill weed. Oops. Marjoram. Marjoram. Can somebody, I don't know what the hell this is. This looks like weed to me, literally. <laughs> and then we got some oregano, so just pure oregano. And then mustard seed. What am I supposed to do with this? Do you use mustard seeds? Um, if so, let me know. Let me know what you use them for. Where you put it in. The hell? I don't know, but bitch, I got mustard seeds. <laughs> How cute is this, you guys? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in. So, yeah. For some reason, I feel like I didn't see this one when I was opening it up. So I have Italian seasoning as well. I, I, I don't remember saying this one, so just letting you guys know. Who would have thought? Well, I just didn't think. <laughs> you guys, this is so cute. I, like, I'm so obsessed. Wow. This is my cute. Thank yes. I got home so late. <laughs> this is why I don't go out. Especially because I was in Brampton, so. Yeah, no, I got in so late, and then my phone was on silent so i didn't hear any of my alarms and then when i did wake up it wasn't that late i think it woke up at 12, 11 but i was so drained you guys i literally got home at oh my god it was so cold sorry outside what is it right now last night you guys outside was murderous it's still negative 15 right now that's not okay you guys it was so cold when I went back to my car, obviously I had to clean the snow off and I didn't have gloves. And within 10 seconds, my fingers were burning. Like, it was that bad. Negative 15, I'm pretty sure you guys can tell that's pretty freaking cold. It's just... Ridiculous. Like, wow. Having some late breakfast. I just picked up some Belgian waffles from the grocery store. And I haven't had them in so long, so I'm so excited to eat this right now. This looks so good. We got some cheesy eggs, Belgian waffles with strawberries, syrup, obviously, and a bacon, egg, and cheese. English muffin. Got my Nando's. You guys, I swear, this is the only location. That actually puts peri-peri. Ooh, this is hot. That actually puts peri-peri seasoning on my fries. <laughs> it's hot. It's so good. Mm -mm. I got my corn. I got my peri peri fries. I got my lemon and herb and hot chicken. Of course, I actually want to enjoy this at home, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna take a little peek at my food. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Okay. I don't know why, but any other Nando's I've been to, especially since I've moved, of course. Dude, they like barely put any of the peri peri seasoning on my fries and it's really irritating so today i was like did you guys put the seasoning on my fries like actually and she's like yeah so then i told her you guys are literally the only location that actually you see all that seasoning right there Mm-hmm. only location that does it and she's like oh my god really thank you no thank you <laughs> Thank you. Who, girl, this is this is it. I get my Nando's chicken hot, and then I get it lemon and herb. It's usually like you pick one, but I like to mix it. Who doesn't love a little lemon and herb chicken with hot sauce? You guys, this is literally like I love Nando's. If you haven't tried Nando's, you need to try it, especially if you have one. Where you live, if you don't, I feel really bad. But you know, whenever you travel to the UK or Canada, make sure you get you some Nando's. I don't know if they have this in the States. Do you guys have Nando's in the States? I don't know, but it smells so good. Nice outfit. Uh, Nike Cortez cargo pants from Lola Shuti. And then I'm wearing this bodysuit tank top. And then my puffer coat is from Urban Outfitters.
These are supposed to be garlic Brazilian lime wings and they taste like that. trying red wine today. I actually tried this the last time and it actually wasn't that bad. I've been trying Bodacious and I really like it. This is the first red wine I actually like can say I like so. So I'm cooking. The salmon is done. It looks so good. It tastes even better. I haven't made salmon in a while. I mean, it's pretty easy to make, but you know, I haven't made salmon since I moved here. <laughs> and I felt like being a little bougie today. So it tastes really, really good. I'll tell you guys what I um, used to season it in a second. And then we got the roasted potatoes. I bought asparagus as well, but um, I just like wasn't really in the mood to make asparagus. And realistically, my eyes are always bigger than my stomach. So I'm just gonna do roasted potatoes. And then we got the white basmati rice in the rice cooker that's already ready. I'm just waiting for these. I'm giving them like five more minutes just cause I like my potatoes nice and crispy like that. So yeah, all these little ones need to like be a little bit more brown. But yeah, so, okay, let me just push this in. <laughs> push this in, sorry. So, I bought some new seasoning today. Um, at my mom's I usually just use garlic plus and parsley. Um, black pepper and salt to salmon season. Se to, what? To season salmon. Sorry, the wine's kind of sinking up on me. And so today I decided to buy the lemon and herb seasoning. Can we focus, please? There we go. So yeah, I decided to buy the lemon and herbs season today. Seasoning today it tastes really, really good. That's what I have on the salmon. And then I also bought some salmon seasoning because you know like why not it makes perfect sense so i use these two on the salmon i use some garlic plus as well i didn't use too much because i mean there's like already herbs in this one but i use this and then you guys know i like my pink himalayan salt so i use that as well some black pepper and then i added a little bit of parsley not yeah a little bit kind of because there's already herbs <laughs> i added some parsley flakes and some basil i love like um, like herbs. I just love seasoning. If you couldn't tell, I use hella seasoning on my food because it's just like a necessity for me. But yeah, I'm super excited because the salmon tastes really good. I already tasted the potatoes. They taste really good. I haven't eaten like this in a while. So yeah, it's about to be a good night and I'm going to watch some Netflix. Or actually, I'm going to watch Survivor's Remorse which is a show that LeBron produced about this guy. You know what? Just look it up. Okay? It's really good. <laughs> But yeah, this is the finished product, you guys. I like my potatoes, like, extra crispy. So, I know some people may think this is burnt, but the crispier, the better. Mmm, <laughs> look at all that seasoning. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna dig in. So it's really 